Hi! In today's video we're going to be learning how to do the belly dance move called an arabesque which looks like this. So it's a very beautiful movement. Um, if you know ballet, <laughs> there's also an arabesque in ballet which is more something like this. This is not that movement. Um, it's a lot easier. And if you are on a floor that is maybe not so slippery, you might want to wear socks or dance slippers of some sort for this move. And if your floor is slippery, then you probably don't want to wear those. So yes, um, the arabesque is just this um, simple movement like this. So I'm going to show you the correct positioning for the move. You want to have your legs turned out. So that means that your feet are pointing out, kind of on a diagonal and not parallel forwards, but out so that your um, inner thighs are squeezing together. And again, you don't need to have really far turnout here. You don't need to force anything, just wherever naturally feels comfortable. And you're going to have one foot forward, so your working foot, and you're going to bring your weight onto that forward foot. Here, I'll turn on the diagonal so you can see a little better. Um, you have your weight forward on the front leg and the back leg then you're just going to lift it off the ground just a little bit, yeah? So you don't, like I said, it's not this fancy ballet weight 90 degrees, no. Just till it's like just off the ground. And you want to make sure that you are turning the leg out. Yes, yeah, so you don't, this would be parallel. If you can see now my top of my foot is pointing towards the floor. And this is turned out, so now more the inside of my foot is more pointing to the floor. So you're really going to be feeling that in those inner thigh muscles and in your glutes. Yeah, you need a lot of glute strength to just hold this position. <laughs> and that's really the hardest part of the arabesque is just holding this position. So if you want to train your arabesques, make them really good, just stand here. <laughs> and let's try the other foot. So again, um, weight is on the front foot, legs are turned out, back leg is just going to lift off just a little bit off the floor and hold. Both legs are straight. Some people do do an arabesque with a bent back leg. Um, I usually do it with a straight back leg. So that's what I'm teaching here. And yes, we're just holding. <laughs> Okay, so that's the position, and you're not going to stay in the position that long when you do an arabesque. But now what I want you to do is, again, you step forward, lift that back leg into the right position using those glutes and the inner thigh squeezing here. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to lift the front heel. So the heel of that front foot, we're going to lift the heel slightly and use our toes to like pivot around. We're going to push the heel forwards. So try to kind of push that heel in the direction of the big toe. So lifting and pushing. Yeah? Let's try that on the other side. Again, lifting that back foot. And now we're going to slightly lift the front heel and push it towards the front. And as you can see, that's going to send our body around. So that's all that an arabesque is, is just stepping and then turning ourselves around from the foot. So the biggest mistake that people make with an arabesque is that they turn the leg. So you might see people do something like this. Okay, that's an exaggeration, but you will see people, you know, try to use that leg to turn themselves around, and that's completely destroying the shape of the arabesque. So when you do the arabesque, you're actually not 
moving that back leg at all. It's staying in that same position, which is why it's important to practice that position. And you're just turning around. And of course, um, that's actually sort of a paddle turn if I'm doing this in little steps, but an arabesque is just one turn. So to practice it, we're going to do, we're gonna start by stepping with an arabesque, and then we end up kind of on a diagonal, and we're gonna do two steps in that diagonal, one, two, and then we're gonna again step an arabesque. And so each arabesque we're turning about a quarter turn. So it's kind of gonna bring us from one diagonal to the other one, yeah? So starting, if I start on this diagonal, actually to start here, turn, step, step, arabesque, step, step, arabesque, step, step, arabesque, step, Step. So let's try that again. Five, six, seven, and arabesque, step, step, arabesque, step, step, arabesque, step, step, arabesque, step, step. Now let's try the same thing, the arabesque, with a rhythm. So the rhythm we are going to use is the rumba or the uh, rumba masri, which means Egyptian rumba. And it's a 4-4 four, four rhythm, so four beats to a measure. And the accent, the doom, is on the one and the four. So it's going to sound like doom, 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 doom. Doom, doom. So that's how you can recognize a rumba. It has that strong kind of doom, doom going from the four to the one. Um, I love this rhythm. <laughs> There's, I don't know why, but it's one of my favorite rhythms that you hear in Oriental music. There's a lot of just really beautiful music that is written with this rhythm. And the arabesque is a great move to do with that rhythm. So what you're going to do is you're going to do Doom, two, three, doom, doom, two, three, doom, doom, two, three, doom, doom. So you're holding the arabesque for two beats and then stepping on beats three and four. Yeah, so it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Because the beauty of the arabesque movement is in that hold, yeah? That beautiful turning. So you're moving a little bit, but you're holding that position. So it works really well after that doom, doom to kind of lengthen it out. So let's try that again with the Roomba. Five, six, seven, and. Doom, two, three, doom, doom, two, three, doom, doom, two, three, doom, doom, and step, doom, doom, and step, doom, doom. Great. So this is the Roomba. Doom, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and let's go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, good, again. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Great. And um, I haven't really talked about arms for this. You can, you can just have the arms out. That actually looks fine with the arabesque. Another great thing to do to really emphasize the arabesque is to bring the arms up. Yeah, one and one. 
of course, if you're doing that all the time, it's probably a little too much. Um, but you know, one and one and one, for example, you can also do this one, opening the arms out, sort of offering, or you can bring the arms up through the center. One and there's, yeah, so um, there's a lot of great arm movements you can do. Um, you could do one side, for example. And one. Um, you would be doing then the opposite arm as the leg. It would look really unbalanced if you tried to do the same arm as the leg. So yeah, you can do one arm. You can play around with it. There's a lot of things to do with the arabesque movement. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, um, hit subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications of new videos. If you have questions or comments, I would be very happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching and happy practicing.